everything we're doing here or showcasing is probably for the last time for quite some time. That's a big fish, man. We always make the best decision. <laughs> it's a, such a cool house because it's a ship. Well, it's been quite windy for the last two days and it's picking up as the new typhoon or cyclone is coming over Philippines. We were warned about this tree so we might move the car a little bit further. Some of these branches might fall down. Are you ready for the cyclone, Jake? Kevin is back from Malapascua. How are you guys doing? How are you? Look at this. Here's Sherilyn's new craft. Beautiful red. La Wood, message her on Instagram if you want to order. Yep. And we're still waiting on your video. I know. Stop being lazy. I'm not lazy, I'm just trying to finish all of these orders. Sure, excuses, excuses. <laughs> but look at this. That Legs. is amazing work. Oh, let me see that one. Oh, yeah, this one, this hand. That's gorgeous. That's for the tree that like, someone is doing with the, uh, with the sand. See that guys? That's probably gonna fly off soon. Whoa, so much wind. Okay, it's the day after and I just got a Tahoe from a local guy driving around here. Passes by the neighborhood every once in a while. Mm. So good. This manga tree it started to make fruits, but normally, there goes the Tahoe guy. <laughs> but normally the manga tree spawns or blossoms flowers first, and then it follows with fruit. However, there was so much wind last night that somewhere up there a mango fell down. I can't see them, but they are up there. Janet, how many days do we have to uh, wait until this one is... What about this one? When can we eat that? It's not good. It's too young, right? All right, can't eat this one. Well, anyways, it's gonna be three months. I think we should go to the ocean, check out the weather. Yeah, sure, let's do yoga or something, but let's give you guys a small update from my area where we're living. Recently this was cemented as well. This place here There's gonna be a couple of new stores 7-eleven I believe so it's just just behind our place Getting a bit modernized. I think we need to go to move to a place that It's really in the province. That's what I love I mean mobile is so cool But I think it's gonna get even more modernized which is fine, but uh, you know me, I prefer the rural, remote, remote places. Oh boy, the wind is picking up. Really dark sky. See these guys in the background with life jackets on? That's where the sardines are. A little bit dripping of rain, but yeah. It's looking all right, not, not too crazy. All right, let's get some food. Come on, let's get some food. You want the bike? Yeah, okay. All right, picked up Shirley. We're gonna take the bike now. Try to be eco-friendly for a while. We can do double trouble. Yeah, trouble, trouble. Wait, wait, I need to close the door. Okay. <laughs> well, it's a perfect time to get the bike because... It's raining. Yeah. Yeah, try it. <laughs> we always make the best decision. <laughs> During the best weather. Oh my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't believe you're doing this. <laughs> Look at the tires. We're way too heavy. It's gray. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> Look at the tires. It's okay. Ice cream. Ciao. Ice cream. Ciao. We're nearby now. Hop on, hop on. Hop on. Thirty pesos. <laughs> Thirty pesos. <laughs> we forgot to film our food, eating the food. <laughs> That's what happens when you're hungry. First, you're hungry. Let's Super. go back. The rain is stopped. Yeah. Hoi! a boy. Good morning. I want to show you guys our breakfast. <laughs> I prefer cold oatmeal. <laughs> Foreigner, Filipina. <laughs> Egg. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but I like cold breakfast. And uh, I mean, I don't mind warm one, but I prefer so we're today. <laughs> Anyways, let's get this day started. <laughs> All right, so what's this video about? Well, to be honest, guys, I think we mentioned before that we're probably gonna be staying in mobile for at least a year. That might change. So we're checking some other options of relocating. I'm not gonna reveal it yet, or what the ultimate goal is. But sometime down the road, bring in the underwater camera because it might be the last dive for quite some time here in, um, Southern Cebu. So uh, let's do one set emotional dive with Lee. It's a farewell. <laughs> maybe, maybe. We're not. It's very likely, but uh, depending on the borders and all that and how smooth that goes. So, additionally, the goal today we're going to drive south to one of the ports and get some information what we actually need to enter the boat. Let's go. Morning, guys. So I'm going to uh, inquire what the uh, schedule of the ferry was tomorrow. We got the information from the port. It actually runs every one hour, Shailen. Every one hour. It's just for 5:30. So that's great. But I think it's time to go to Alegria and uh, maybe do our last dive for now. Salabat! Okay, so that was pretty cool. Uh, very friendly local. And this house here in front of me, we always drive by it and I never stop to take a look. And I feel kind of bad just trespassing right now because of this co-way thing. And uh, it's a, such a cool house because it's a ship. And the guy, Tito, he said that it's a retired ship engineer. And the whole house is shaped like a ship. <laughs> so it relates quite well with him. We made it back to Allegria. We're gonna catch a lunch over here. 
this is new so let's check that out first see that's on the nest chicken teriyaki and korean kimbo you get the tuna roll yeah that's only they're available okay okay, okay. let's get the uh bibimbap <laughs> Bibimbap. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Chicken teriyaki. Chicken teriyaki. Not available, babe. Ah, okay, okay. Which one is available? This one. Berry turmeric. You have that? The municipality of Alegria, which means happiness or happy in Spanish, I believe. I get a comment like this all the time about Alegria. Such a cute little municipality. Gorgeous ocean view front, coastal town in the southern Cebu. We spent about a month with Alegria Dive Resort, beautiful time here. Then we've been about, what, two, three, three, four months in mobile. But we're looking ahead guys a little bit ahead of plan as well because things are opening up back again so that's all right is it hot salad Super. <laughs> ah this is philippines i've missed this i've missed the heat guys i think so i've been i said it a couple of times that summer's around the corner but it really hasn't arrived yet but this feels like a hot hot day what is like turmeric Food has arrived, check this out. That looks pretty good. And yours? Chicken teriyaki. Yummy. <laughs> I like the egg, how they cook the egg. Perfect. Ooh. You need to try it, so good. Mm. Ooh, a lot of veggies. Good, eh? That's really good. They got a lot of turmeric here in Allegria. So they put turmeric rice, turmeric in the drink. It's really good. Super healthy. <laughs> Great lunch done. And I think we're gonna go to Alec Red Dye Resort. She's waiting on Sheridan. She has this habit of making everybody wait for them. Which is very lovely. All right, let's go. Brad, what's your name? Mimon. Huh? Mimon. Mimon. Mimon, Mimon. Mimon, Mimon. Mimon, Mimon. Yeah, this is my son. <laughs> hey, congrats. Yeah, yeah. What happened, Shirlin? He got dengue and he survived. And he did. He fights the dengue. Yeah. You know? But, Mimon, come here. How was the uh, hospital? Boring. Yeah. <laughs> but did, were you able to play Mobile Legends? It does, but no. Why? There was no signal. <laughs> <laughs> no signal in the hospital. Guys, dengue, serious, always be careful. Wear off lotion. <laughs> Free promo. <laughs> exactly. So, shout out to Raymond's son for surviving dengue. It was really serious. Uh, he was seven days in the hospital, a week. So, it was pretty serious. Oh, they're hitting the the wire see that guys they're moving like a nipa house there in the tree <laughs> oh boy <laughs> it might take a while to get back i know <laughs> we're out here going to sucking island and our spear of friends are here as well My own bulldog! There's a lot of current! Too much current, right? Yeah. It is a fish! I don't 
think so. We dropped the line. I counted 15 different colors, which means it's gonna be at 150 meters depth. We think it's a fish. <laughs> But honestly, I can't tell because this is my first time or first experience doing jigging or open sea fishing. Normally when I do fly fishing, I feel the strike. I never felt the strike. I'm just... So... I don't know if it's a rock, stone or a fish, to be honest. <laughs> but we are managing to pull in some of the line. We've got a couple of colors. That's a big fish, man. If it's a fish. If it's a fish, it's a big fish. <laughs> Definitely didn't catch a fish like I thought it was because there's always some kick. Well, let's see what we find with this one. I'm sure I can get, get this up. <laughs> this is nuts. It's not good to celebrate early. <laughs> Never celebrate too early. Wow. I don't I don't get how I even got that up. That was so heavy. <laughs> this is the heaviest I've ever lifted. Oh my god. <laughs> Anti-zero. <laughs> At least it's not a stone. Okay, we didn't catch any fish. Work in progress. You gotta do an extra layer over there for the more dark blue. Mm -hmm. But it's super detailed. Wow. We're going back to Allegria. One last dive? Yes. Okay. And we will go to the beautiful paradise. But we will not gonna see you guys. Soon you will know. But there's a clue. What's that? Well, okay. there's ocean everywhere in the Philippines. No, 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 no. <laughs> what is this? Oi! Drink some water. <laughs> Alright, let's do our final dive for probably quite some time. And I'll show you guys how beautiful and gorgeous the reef here is around this healthy coastal line of Allegria. Oh, and by the way, let me know guys in the comments if you prefer me do like a narration, talk about a little bit of the species and fishes that I see around, or do you prefer just like cinematic, or maybe just mix it up. The problem with the narration is my English, it's my third or fourth language, so, but it, it kind of forces me to uh, become better at it, so uh, I like it. I like to do the narration as well. Anyways, let's jump in there. I always say the nicest thing about diving is that you never know what you're gonna see on each dive. There's always something new. And if you're diving in the same location, it's very nice to check up on the creatures you already know where they are, how they're developing and their surrounding areas. Like these dancer shrimps, always check up on them. There's just something cool about these small tiny shrimp, how they're jumping around, their movement, eating. Some baby dancer shrimps as well, like a whole family colony over there. I also tested out my super 100 times zoom macro lens, which is like an underwater magnifying glass that you put in front of my dome port on the camera. And with that, I'm able to see some of the smallest creatures and it's almost like a hand reaching out of the coral, swooping up the plankton, whatever it grabs onto and then pulls it in and eats. Fascinating to see up and close. I'm also getting quite used to these snakes that are all around the Philippines and they can be a bit scary at times because we know these are highly venomous. They can actually kill humans if it enters the bloodstream but as you guys know their teeth are usually way too small to penetrate the skin so they're just fine. These snakes also need to breathe so every 30 minutes they go up to the surface and 
grab the breath. And as we're finishing the dive, we notice this weird looking blob, slimy thing attached to the bottom. I have no idea what that is. Maybe it's a pouch of, you know, some animal growing inside. Who knows? And lastly, we stumble upon this porcelain crab. Really cool. However, the tricky thing about filming in a gorgeous reef like here in Southern Cebu, there is a lot of coral. So it's really hard for me to stabilize the footage because everything is floating. I can't put my camera down because that will just damage the coral. So. Unfortunately, we couldn't get great shot of that. Make your bets, guys. Comment below who's gonna get this dick. Get it, get it! Oh, Rick got it! We're definitely spoiled with the amount of corals and creatures here in Allegria. Summer is here, guys. Summer is here. I can feel it. Ugh. And on a hot day like this, there's no better thing than to dip into the ocean, whether that's snorkeling, just hanging out there, scuba diving, free diving. No better feeling, and that was spectacular dive. Ah, oh, we're just in the shallows. One hour, 20 minutes or so. And we saw a couple of new things and uh, this weird type of dragon thing, fish walking on the sand and feeding. That was pretty cool, but yeah, we always see something new on each dive. That's awesome. That's the beauty of diving in the Philippines with the, uh, one of the most amount of creatures in the world. Anyways, we're gonna do the second dive a night dive at the coral garden and that's gonna be very deep so me and Lee are gonna go down to 30 meters in the dark see what we'll find there being that this was our last dive at the like red dive resort for quite some time uh, we couldn't end it off in a better way because the weather conditions were just absolutely perfect it's always a little bit scary getting into the water when it's pitch black and uh, however you kind of get used to it the more you do it. But I found it quite strange because it was full moon as well and uh, it's funny how the environment and the creatures work around. Because someone told me that if it's a full moon a lot of the fishes go in hiding. Because we couldn't find all of these creatures we were looking for on this dive. However, we saw some of the strangest thing I've ever seen. For example, this giant sea fan or whatever these creatures are. Imagine a bush that's underwater and it's doing all this crazy movement. Hunting, gathering, mating, I don't know. Like it's just look at that, that's crazy. Another reason why I love the night dives is a lot of creatures come at life at night time. And on the other hand, a lot of fishes, they go to sleep. Just like us humans and other animals. So you'll find them laying around the sandy bottoms or in between the corals, sleeping. Like this one. I'm not sure if it's a, some type of a mora eel or type of eel, but it's, it's kind of freaky. <laughs> Just laying there sleeping. Well, these Nemos, I found it quite hilarious because they're kind of cramped up in uh, an enemy that is a bit tight for them.
definitely the funniest thing we saw on this dial was this weird shape crap. I mean, look at the shape of it. <laughs> Gigantic. <laughs> Jet, sorry, gigantic uh, shell. Uh, just laughing, looking at this guy. Sorry, gigantic shell with the tiny eyes and a weird-looking mouth, huge arms. I don't know really how to describe it, but it's it's so cool. Like this muscular-looking shell, clunky-looking hands, searching for food on the bottom floor. I just love this guy. And with every beginning comes an ending because we are. Uh, actually saw another just like that a shell maybe not the same crap but in a different form a few days later the mango has turned into a little bit of yellow. Definitely doesn't have that sweet, delicious uh, mango smell. Or smelling them in the market. But we're still looking for some. Certainly grow. Ah, that was definitely one of the worst coconut opening I've ever done. Not so proud of that. Pretty good. All right, we got some interesting news here from the Philippines. Sipu no longer needs or requires a swab test entering domestically. So if you're anywhere in the country, it's basically open. And normally when uh, some of the provinces implement such a big rule or update, the other ones usually follow, so that's a good sign. But speaking about COVID test, in the next vlog probably, we have to go to Cebu City and we're getting a swap test because like maybe in this video title everything we're doing here or showcasing is probably for the last time for quite some time we're planning some big big things and we originally anticipated to be in mobile for at least a year because we never knew how long this lockdown is going to be especially coming from the extreme lockdown in Cebu City so we anticipated to be here at least a year, but now what, three, four months in, we're actually looking further and uh, looking into the future, what we really wanna do, making some big, big changes and big decisions in the upcoming years or so. And we really narrowed it down what uh, we wanna do and at least have some sort of asset base, perhaps, in the country. So looking at, all the options around the country especially mobile here things are just too expensive for me to be able to do something something big so we've been looking uh, further and in the next vlogs perhaps in the next series we're gonna showcase that so that's gonna be our experiment our attempt to go to that next step in our lives sort of speaking so that's the only hint that I'm gonna give it to you guys. If you're members of this channel, you can see a subscribe. Remember, we already revealed uh, sort of behind the scenes, more personal stuff, what's going on with, you know, her family, my family, you know, something that I don't wanna showcase here all, all too much, you know, but might be interesting to some. So if you wanna support us even further, that's the option we got there as well. So thank you guys so much for that. So yeah, I hope you guys are excited for upcoming videos. It's gonna be very different. We also really, really wanna go see Cure Foundation, but guys, it's been so hard. Even the people running it, they had some uh, COVID cases in their compound. So they had to do quarantine the last time we were supposed to go visit them. So, you know, every time we go up north, we always check with them if we can actually visit, but it's been so difficult. We're gonna make one final last attempt to uh, get access to visit the school. Some amazing development. I can't wait to show you guys actually. So we're gonna try to do that. We gotta go to the city, do the swap, and then uh, we have something arranged outside of Cebu City. Come and blow if you can guess where. Anyways, that is it for now. Stay tuned for more. The next up, peace.